My perception for both acute leukemias is that we are in a revolutionary period that is going to change how we treat and cure both acute myeloid leukemia and acute lymphocytic leukemia in the near future. In acute myeloid leukemia, I think we have hit a wall with the curability with chemotherapy combinations, be it 3 plus 7 or the more intensive flag IDA where you, we use high-dose RSC during the induction and we use additional nucleoside analogs. So at this stage in acute myeloid leukemia, in fact, we have many targeted therapies against the leukemic cells and also immune modulatory strategies that could help the environment kill the leukemia cells. So to start with, we know that acute myeloid leukemia cells express CD33 and CD123. And now we have different forms of monoclonal antibodies conjugated to toxins, as well as antibody constructs against CD33 and CD123. So these are two targeted therapies that could target 100% of patients with acute myeloid leukemia and improve their outcome. Moreover, we know that a third of patients with acute myeloid leukemia have expression of FLT3 abnormalities, and about 20% have mutations in IDH1 and IDH2. So we have now um, multitudes of FLT3 inhibitors, as well as inhibitors of IDH1 and 2 that are progressing with very positive results. I do not think that we're going to use them as single agents, but in combinations, they are giving very powerful response rates and durable responses. Another aspect which is very interesting is the development of BCL2 inhibitors that shorten the life of the leukemic cells. So now we have ABT199 or venetoclax, which alone has very modest activity, but in combination with either epigenetic therapy or intensive chemotherapy is giving also very powerful results. Um, as it relates to the microenvironment, uh, as with all the other solid tumors, we're finding that checkpoint inhibitors are active in hematologic malignancies, and I think they could have very positive results, perhaps not as single agents, but again in combinations or in combined checkpoint inhibitor modalities as was done in melanoma. So the checkpoint inhibitors are going to be an important research today and perhaps a mainstay of therapy in the future. Finally, there are a couple of new modified chemotherapy agents uh, such as CPX351 uh, and Vosaroxin, which may improve um, on our capacity to deliver chemotherapy more effectively and perhaps with less results. So I think we have in our hands uh, several agents, both targeted immune oncology strategies uh, and better chemotherapy agents, which when we learn how to use them optimally and in combinations will probably increase the cure rate in acute myeloid leukemia. So I mentioned I'm very excited about the monoclonal antibodies, the antibody constructs, the CAR T cells against CD33 and CD123, the targeted therapies against FLT3, IDH12, checkpoint inhibitors, uh, and some of the new chemotherapy improved agents such as CPX351 and uh, Vosaroxin. And I mentioned already the venetoclax, uh, which I think is going to be also a very effective anti-AML therapy.